Hi, my name is Sangwa and welcome to another episode of EMTV. In episode 20, we talk about how to prevent sticky strings. And one of the ways that we, we mention is we use a cloth to put over the strings. And this method actually also prevents your bow hair from getting caught in a fine injustice. And what happens when your bow hair gets caught in a fine injustice? Um, it will end up looking like this. So today we have Regent here with us again. If you remember from the previous episode, he was telling us how to moisturize your dry snake skin. Welcome to the show, Regent. Yeah, hi Sama, thanks for having me here. <laughs> yeah, so like you were saying, right, with the loosening of these stray hairs from the main body of the bow, it can actually lead to a few different consequences. So firstly, when we are playing slow passages on the Erhu, right? Now as an Erhu player myself, I like it when I have like, you know, absolute control over the bow and by extension the bow hairs. So when you have these random bow hairs dangling out from the main body itself, right? What it does is that it can possibly create an uneven tone colour when you are playing these slow passages or it may even come in contact with the other string while you're playing, which is like the worst thing that you want to happen. Uh. So you have double tones. Yeah, correct. So another thing is that, you know, when it's loose, right, and you try to put it back after you're done practicing, it, there's a higher chance that it actually gets caught uh, in the fine adjusters again. And when you try to loosen it, right, because it's already so loose in the first place, you may actually end up breaking it. Yeah, you may actually end up breaking it like this. So, and the last thing is, it just looks very slipshod, yeah, right. You know, to walk around with an erhu, with an erhu bow, it's like, it's like dangling, this sort of things. It seems quite unprofessional uh, and again, practic practical, uh, practically wise, it's not very good. Yeah. So is there anything that we can do to resolve this issue? Well, actually yes, there are. So there are actually two main methods that we could employ. So the first one, which is the most straightforward one, would be cutting away these stray bow hairs. So there are two possible problems that we may run, that we may run across while doing so. Firstly, try not to cut the other bow hairs. Uh. Mm. And secondly, you know, when you're trying to locate where the bow hair, that stray bow hair starts and where it ends, right, you may um, potentially compromise the integrity of the other of the other bow hairs and cause them to dangle dangle out from the main body as well. And it just creates a bigger problem mm. than the first one. Okay. So is there another method of doing this? Oh, actually there is, and it involves us using a lighter. Like this? Yeah, correct. So what we are going to show you guys is a little bit of magic that we learned from our teachers previously. Okay, so firstly, we detach the bow from the erhu. Now why do we do that is because, you know, the heat generated from the lighter could potentially compromise the erhu in some way and we really won't want that to happen, right? Next, for the lighter, place it a fair distance away from the bow first and then afterwards we turn on the heat and move it slowly up and you can see that the bow hairs are actually being drawn upwards and there you have it you have a simple method of solving the problem that we have mentioned earlier alright so that was a proper demonstration on how to properly execute a method that we were describing now what happens if we were to move our hand up too quickly so you can see that the hair starts burning and you actually fall apart. Incidentally, because this bow is actually made of synthetic horse hair, upon burning of the hair, right, there's actually a very strong plastic smell that accompanies the um, smoke and the burning. So this is actually one good way for us to tell whether your bow is made of real hair or fake horse hair. Well, that's quite cool, Regin. Any idea how did that happen? Mm, well, I didn't actually think so deeply into that question before because, you know, it was just something that I learned from my teacher and I was like, oh, it actually works quite well. But I do have a few theories about why it actually happens. So firstly, when you're generating heat mm -hmm. from the lighter itself, right, so there's this convection current that is actually going up and that pushes the bow hair up towards the main body. But that itself won't be enough to make sure that the bow hair actually sticks to the rest of the of the hair, right? So what I I think is that the rosin that is on the hair actually partially melts as well, and thus it sticks that stray hair onto the main body. Yeah, that's what I feel. But if any of you have 
any other theories to contribute, you can just leave it in the comment section below. Well, thanks for sharing, Richard. I hope that was useful for you. Remember to hold the lighter a distance away from your bowl and move it gradually up. If not, your whole bowl might go out in smoke. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.